On dry land. That's right, Bran. Many people who live here in Mesopotamia say Noah has lost his mind. Is he cra crazy? Let's talk to some of Noah's neighbors. Excuse me, what do you know about that giant construction project? I was the first one to see him start building that thing. It really freaked me out. I mean, who builds a boat when there's no water around? And you, Liz, have you heard anything about the man behind all this activity? Yes, I, I, uh, <laughs> Noah should be ashamed of himself. He's trying to scare all the people by telling them there's going to be a flood. The truth is we never even have enough rain around here. And what about you, ma'am? Does the idea of a flood bother you? No, but what does bother me is all the animals that have been showing up lately. Squawking and honking and howling and all hours. I haven't gotten any sleep for the past three days. Just look at them. I can clearly understand your frustration. And we have time for one more comment. You, sir, what can you tell us about the man named Noah? All I can say is I'm very happy he decided to build that thing. And why is that, sir? Because I'm a carpenter, my father was a carpenter, and my grandfather was a carpenter. And that Noah has been has been ordering Google with from our family for three generations to, for the project, for, to build that project of his. And let's see if you can get a word with Noah himself. Look, there he is. Excuse me, Mr. Noah, we'd like to talk to you about your construction project. Greetings. It's beautiful, isn't it? Of course it is. We just finished building it. It? What is it? Well, technically, I guess you could call it... Yikes! What is that? It's okay. It's okay. It's just a monkey. Yes, you can go on the boat now. So you're calling it a boat? Well, that's what I call it to the animals. It's actually called an earth, but they don't know what the word earth means, now do they? Of course not. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. There's another one. <laughs> yes, God told me to take two of every animal. Every animal? Why? Because God said I'll rain for a very long time. Hey, monkey, get back here. That was my lunch. Wait, so you're saying that God talks to you? Yes. He speaks to you personally, like you actually have a friendship with God? How do you talk, and how do you talk to him too? Of course, he wants us all to have a relationship with him. Are you filming this? Well, I'm filming it all right. Okay, Noah, our viewers are very curious to know, how do you talk to God? It doesn't have to be a conversation. Sometimes it can be something as simple as saying thank you to God, the same way you'd say thank you to a friend. Here, I'll give you an example. Have you ever given thanks before a meal? Sure. You mean at like Thanksgiving? Cut. Stop the camera. There's no such thing as Thanksgiving. Why not? Because it hasn't been invented yet. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Noah. Continue. So one day when I was praying, 
And when I was finished, I just sat quietly. Mostly because I was tired. You understand, right? Of course you do. But then I heard God speaking to me. God spoke to you? What did he say? He said that he was not happy with what was happening on earth, and that he would send a great rain to destroy it. I know. Now thinking about it, it actually looks like it might rain a little today. I think you're right. These storm clouds are coming out of nowhere. Please, come on the ark with us. There's plenty of room, right? Of course there is. Are you kidding? This video is going to make headlines. We have to get back to the office to finish editing this video. We're going to be famous after tonight's news. You don't understand. There might not be any news this evening. <laughs> no news? No news? That's funny. Ew, I just felt the range off. Me too. Turn off the camera. Don't get it get. Let it get wet. Please, come on the ark with us. This rain won't stop until everything on earth is destroyed. And if we keep, and if we stay out here talking any longer, this camera will be destroyed. Let's go. Sam, Sam, Japheth, come, come my sons. Count all the animals and tell your wives to get on the ark with the children. Is it time, Father? Do you see those rain clouds? Of course you do. Yes, Father. It's time. But, but what about the neighbors? Where did they go? They wouldn't, they wouldn't listen. I'll be right back. I'm going to go look around. Do we have all the animals? My responsibility was the four living animals. I counted two of each. My responsibility was the seven animals. We had four of two of each. What about the two living animals? There's two of each. Good. Except I think one of the monkeys is missing. Oh no! Are you kidding? It's probably hiding somewhere around the ark. Here comes Father. Don't say anything about these animals. Please, my children, get on the ark. It is beginning to rain hard. Yes, Father. Please, get on the ark with us. This rain won't, um, this rain won't stop until everything on earth is destroyed. Ah, thank you, my friend. And thank you, Lord, for this, that, that this rain won't last forever, right? Of course, sir.